<laughs> Shoot me, and my hand squeezes three cc's of Lake Michigan into her neck. PCBs will cause cancer. The other toxins will cause meningitis, leprosy, dementia, and internal hemorrhaging, and ultimately a very agonizing death. Frazier? Uh, no! Well, the threat of leprosy is probably overstated. There's only been seven known cases in this area. Back so off! Any ideas? If you take a shot, he stabs her. If I take a shot, he stabs her. Aganago! Aganago! Shut up! Between a shot and a time, we'll take him to the press the plunger. We have a half-second window of opportunity. Not enough time. This button. Shoot him! I don't have a shot. Neither do I. Mielo, so shoot him! Any other ideas? The idea is that we're gonna move straight ahead together, and then we're gonna walk out of here. Bad idea. Time's up, boys. Frazier? Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just seen is a perfect example of what not to do in a training exercise. If this was a real hostage situation, you would have just killed the Secretary of State. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Agent Gortens. Thanks, guys. I can only hope yeah, going, Nick. Yeah. that the cooperation between our three nations will be more productive at the summit conference. Oh, God help us all. Manual, does it say you bite the assassin? Well, I had to do something you weren't going to do. But you're the hostage. Oh, so we are just a third world country. We are not supposed to fight back? Gringo baboso. A Spanish explorer. That's not what you said. I know what you said. That is not but what right, you right, said. Right, you right, did right, not right, say please, Spanish please, explorer. Please, please. This entire situation was my fault. The American shot him. Why is he apologizing? He's Canadian. People, enough. It is imperative that the North American Free Trade Summit operates without incident. This conference is a milestone in the relations between our three countries. It's about cooperation. It's about growth. It's about money. Oh, Mr. Bennett. Lieutenant? Mr. Bennett is the U.S. trade official in charge of this summit, uh, and I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Else, Bush. Casey. Secret Service? That's neat to know, Detective Becky Hill. Now, Washington has received some very scary, very believable threats to the safety of the summit. Due to the large crowds of press and demonstrators expected, security consideration has become a nightmare. Let me just say, Nothing will interfere with the security and safety of this summit conference. Special Agent Helms will be heading up security. Now, our respective countries are all counting on this joint task force to be uh, an example of international cooperation. I trust I can count on you. Meaning if you screw up, we're all toast. Look, this could be a problem, sir. I don't think we're really bonding. Perhaps Fraser and I should be the ones... Listen, Vecchio. The three of you have less than 72 hours to uh, bond. This is not enough time, sir. Becky, are you familiar with that old Spanish expression, el guardio del tráfico? Understood, sir. We will be a well-oiled machine by tomorrow. The American shot you. I don't think he intended to. Thank you. We clean our own personnel here.
Look, it was a simple mistake. No, it was a miscalculation, and I haven't made a miscalculation since... Since when? Well, since the last time you shot me. I'm just grateful you had the presence of mind to shoot me again. Well, it wasn't my fault. She jumped the gun. She heard that. I know. Police, anybody home? ID? Uh, it's uh, Constable Benton Fraser, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I'm here on behalf of the uh, Joint Security Task Force to pick up the telephone security codes for the Trade Summit. I believe you were expecting us? Your health insurance number? 559-764-921. Uh, Mother's maiden name? Pinson. Code word of the day? Manatee. Sign here, please. Thank you kindly. Thank you. What's with all this security hocus pocus for a trade meeting? Not any trade meeting, tough NAFTA representatives. Yeah, well, in my country, nobody knows what NAFTA is or cares. Somebody does apparently enough to. What? Well, that security official stamped his document. He did it rather hard. Yeah, well, those phone company boys are tough. Yeah, but if you stamp documents all day long and you do it that hard, Ray, you develop tendonitis. So you start to use a. Uh, a rolling motion. Come on! Are you all right? Okay. I got it. You know what it is to love your home and lose it. I am losing mine. Canadian forests are being destroyed to build houses in America. American forests are being destroyed to build houses in Mexico. Trade representatives Sinclair, Franklin, and Tedesco have betrayed us. I will see them die before they are allowed to betray their countries again. Lunatic. And you say you don't know this man? Not to my knowledge, no. But he knows you. It would appear so, yes. Yes, it would. You didn't get a look at his face. The blinds were down, the room was dark. The room was darker. Your eyes weren't sharp, Constable. My eyesight is fine, thank you. Just not today. No. You've been working in law enforcement for some time, haven't you, Constable? For some time, yes. Is there anything going on, either physically or emotionally, that could be putting you off your game? No. Did you observe anything about this person, Constable? I observed many things. The most salient feature was his hands. He spent a lot of time out of doors. He worked with his hands. Somebody walked away with top secret copies of the summit telephone codes right under your nose, Constable. And the only thing that you can recall is that perhaps he spent a lot of time out of doors. You weren't on a detail at the prime minister's residence during the break-in last year, were you? No. Keep in touch. I made a mistake. No. I made two mistakes. Oh, boy. You know, they say your muscle tone and reflexes start to go in your early 20s. Of course, in your case, that would be in your early threes. But we've made up for it, haven't we? We have increased knowledge. We have increased skill. Yes, you eat up quickly. We have to go to bed early. Inside the Prime Minister's residence, Constable. Well, the PM was at home. And where were you? In Chicago. You think it was appropriate for you to be hundreds of miles away in a foreign country when your PM was facing that kind of threat? Of course not. Fitness is not just about strength and reflexes. It's about judgment. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Over here, Constable. 
Yes, sir. Aye, son. I understand it's the first thing to go. <laughs> <laughs> Bad dream. Go back to sleep. We'll have our trade representatives stay on the plane an extra five minutes. Then you'll meet up with the others, go out the back entrance. No need to tell the Americans or the Mexicans. The American trade representative will come out of the hatch second. The guy in front will be a lookalike. Our guy will wait five minutes, then enter the terminal. Don't tell the Mexicans or the Canadians. Nuestro hombre se quedará por cinco minutos más en el avión. El canadiense sale por atrás. Y el gringo es un doble. ¿Cómo sabes esto? La ventaja de ser mexicano. Siempre piensan que estamos durmiendo. Pero no le digan eso a los gringos, eh, o los canadienses. Jay is on the gangway. On your toes. See anything? Nothing. Cabot, C-A-B-O-T, Enid Cabot, C-A-B-O-T, Jacques Cam de Sioux, C-A-M-D-E-S-S-U-S. -S -S -S. Boy, we're making a difference for democracy here. They called the airport, no one saw a gunman, no one saw anything, nothing, nada. Sometimes a camera lens, if you look at it from a different angle, pops up. 
possibly... He saw his hands, right? Yes. He saw a gun, right? Yes. Read the report. There's a Spanish translation. You believe your friend very touching, also very American. You know, I'm getting a little sick and tired of your disrespect. You are a visitor in this country. Ah, oh, thank you, Vecchio. I had forgotten the Alamo. Is that a slam against Davy Crockett? Do you make an effort to be obnoxious, or is it just a gift? It's just a gift. He was here. Who was here? The assassin. During the training exercise, he saw me miscalculate. Well, he would look for a weak spot. Oh, come on. This place was crawling with SWAT. He couldn't get within a mile. He could if he was one of them. My security clearance. I was in with the task force files. OK, listen up. The psych boys in Washington have been working overtime. We got a profile on our man based on his letter. First, he's a woman. <laughs> what? One of those retro 60s types. You know, band the bomb, kiss a whale. Your typical sandal wearing, lavender smelling. Granola crunching, tree hugging. Subversive. Who happens to be armed to the teeth. That's what the profile says. Do you have a list of suspects? The moment we got something definite, I'll let you know. You find out if and when. What happened to all of us being in this together? Some of us are in it more than others. Now, Cortez, you and Vecchio take over from Montoya and Brewster on the first floor east wing. You, you stick to your strengths. Same boots, army issue. Oh, hi. Hi. Right. Well, these have been resold with used rubber. Michelin's man knows his tires. What kind of man soles his own shoes? A thrifty one. Look at the way he walks, the curl from the ball of the foot to the outside. Light, careful, like a predator. He'll be seen when he wants to be seen. Military training, combat experience. Indeed. Is this a dream, or are you still dead? Still dead, son. Thanks for asking. And what do you think you're doing in here? Probably the same thing you are. Well, I'm here on official business. Oh. Is that why you had to pick the lock? I'm not the one who was caught red-handed. Do you know that the contents of that file are American government property? What's in this file could help save a Mexican diplomat's life. I'm not going to allow him to die over some American need to know power game. Well, then you better be prepared to share. I don't share with people I don't trust. Me neither. Fine. Make your own copies. Our man is 192.5 centimeters in height and weighs 119 kilos. And 52 grams. He can't possibly know that. There's nothing wrong with my eyes, son. There's nothing wrong with mine. You know, this could be the one. The one what? Your match, son. Someone who's stronger than you, faster, smarter. Dad. First you see one, then you start to notice more before you know you're, you're struggling to keep up with him. Dad. See if this is a challenge, son. I'd relish the chance. Completely unstable. Huh? Nothing. You'd do well to listen to your father, son. Dad? OK. 
comes, he goes, never a word of warning. Toma. Oh, great. Move over. The eyes are the first to go. Huh? You start to miss things that you used to be able to see. We're still. You start to see things that aren't there anymore. Well, I'm not seeing you. I'm dreaming. Would you move your shoulder? Are you asleep? I'm dead to the world. You sure? I'm a log. You don't look asleep. Well, I am. So if you wouldn't mind, I could really use a decent night's nice rest. Oh, look out, son. Huh? sleeping inside once. When I came back, my mother's house, I couldn't get used to it. Woods is better, black as you, like the night. I wolf. He's a beauty. But he's got a sweet tooth, candy bar, a couple drops of ether. <laughs> Just keep him away from junk food. <laughs> How long? Two tours. Infantry? <laughs> you a good tracker? Sometimes. It's going quick, you know. The cover. Used to be I could hike through the woods, 50 clicks. Never see a can or a candy wrapper. Then it's 40 clicks. Now it's 10. Not in these parts. No, <laughs> not in these parts. They raped these woods a long time ago. We gotta take them out, quick and clean. We don't think I'm take away every stick of wood, every bush. Then us, one at a time, me, you, all of us. We've been here before. Who's they? Them. The suits. They keep taking it away from us. A man just wants to get from one day to the next. One day he's in his own bed. Then he's in the jungle. And it's not.
jungle was safer. A man knew what to expect. Listen, you're on the inside. You can do this easier than me. I'll cover you. I'm charged with protecting these men. That's too bad. Because they're closing in. They're gonna get you just like they got me. Think about it. Shouldn't you be on guard duty? Oh, I will bring him in. You can count on that. They didn't believe me. In a word, no. I think I miscalculated. In a word, yes. So they're pursuing their own line of suspects? Yeah, the granola lady. They're gonna have every health food store in the country surrounded by 5 o'clock. And he'll have a clear shot. What? What time's the reception? 7.30. We better hurry. Are you sure he's out here? He's an experienced infantryman and an expert in reconnaissance. He's camped out here somewhere. Invite Miss Cortez? Oh, uh, she's busy. She's only gonna slow us down. No. He knows we're coming after him. If we take that path, we are walking into a booby trap. All <laughs> uh, right. I think you should step back. Easy. OK, let's take the path. I think that's a good idea. Come on. Are you kidding me? One false step and I'm an extra in an Indiana Jones movie. Just have to be aware. Keep your eyes open. Ray, duck. <laughs> Anis platyrhinus. Very unusual sighting for this time of year. Duck. Duck. Duck means duck. Duck doesn't mean duck. What do you got? Coffee. French roast. At least he's a connoisseur. Hey, don't be sneaking up on somebody like that or you're gonna get yourself hurt. I can take you out in a second, buddy. Well, I'll consider that. This is where he lives? Yeah, he led us here. Step back. Thank you! 
What? My foot. Landmine. Yeah. Don't move. Wasn't planning on it. Supposed to take some people longer than others to do a day's work. Go on, boys. Hey, hey. Homemade coffee can with gunpowder. Dismantle it. Look, you don't want to set this thing off, okay? Now, give me something flat, like a nail file. Here. You know, I don't think you know what you're doing. Do you want to wait for somebody else? <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> you know? Some days I hate this job. You know what your problem is? You're spoiled. This is not a good time to be insulting me. You know, there's this place outside Mexico City where they dump the trash. People live there and they build shelters with the garbage, burn it for heat, they eat the scraps. And the only people they see there who have money are the cops. Uh. Nothing wrong with taking a job that pays well. Okay. Now be very careful. And don't move until I say so. You know, the job itself, they don't make any money. They make money from La Mordida and their payoffs. And you know this because? Because I grew up there. You know, there was this one cop. His name was El Alcon, the hawk. He saw everything. And he never once, once took money from nobody. Los Federales, everybody else was on the take except for him. It was always underneath his nose, and he never, ever took money. I wanted to be a cop to be just like him. I've never lost a partner before. Entree. Oh, no. Those. Face. Look, this guy is armed to the teeth, okay? He's got hand grenades, he's got landmines, he's got... Look, we got three suspects under round-the-clock surveillance. We've got this place sealed up tighter than a drum. Every door, every window, every crack is covered. A mosquito could not get through. You have to cancel the event. Are you deluded? This man is a highly skilled soldier. Your government trained him. He will penetrate the guard. It's not an option. 
Every moment you spend trying to convince us otherwise is taking us off the task at hand. I I'm taking you off the detail. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, if either of you have a problem, you can join him. I'll put another man on the Canadian trade representative, Parker. He's young. Hand me your tag, constable. You'll be escorted off the premises. We're coming with you. That wouldn't be smart. Do your job. Yes, it's quite true, but if I got through your security, so will he. Okay, either you leave here quietly, or I will have my men drag you out. Do you understand me? Yes. I hope things are well in Ottawa. Oh, they're going very well. I'm sorry, sorry to you. No, it's all right. Mr. Mr. Pierce, I'd like you to meet Mr. Greenway of Portland, Oregon. Mr. Greenway. Mr. Dawson. Will you excuse me? with Pierce. On three. On three. On three. I sent you some correspondence about three months ago. I hope that you got it and had a chance to read it. And yes, I have something here that uh, you might want to look over tonight. Oh, no. Sorry, sir. Walk out of here together. I don't think they're prepared to just let you walk out of here. If you move, I'll shoot it. Lower your guns. Lower your guns. I survive. What do you know about survival? Well, at the moment, very little it would seem. Although there was a time when I knew everything. I was always right. I was never wrong. Until one day, when I was in the woods with my father. We were tracking a killer in the bush. And then suddenly one set of prints became two. Split right, we split left. My father said the killer had gone left and retraced his steps. I said he'd gone right and retraced his steps. There he goes again. So as it turned out, there was a third option. There were two killers. Exactly. So you see, I was both right and I was wrong. And you can never lose sight of that distinction, because if you do, you're beaten. You won't know where you are or who you are. And then the enemy is everywhere and everyone. I haven't lost sight of anything. I know who I am. I spent three years in the jungle in the service of this country. Now they're taking it away from me. The air, the trees, the water. They're taking away my home. You take away a man's home. You take away his honor. They're not taking away your honor. They're taking away your hiding place. And if you know who you are, then you don't have to hide. What's your name? 
What's your name? Lacroix. Megan Lacroix. We're traveling. So is it true you never lost your partner? Well, uh... No. No. Well, what I meant was I never lost a partner to a landmine. That's not what you said. Well, that's what I meant. I can't believe you lied to me. Well, technically, I didn't lie to you. You see, he was hit by a minivan oh. while I was driving. Beck, yo. You saved the trade representative. Yes, sir. And then you saved the assassin? Uh, I'm afraid I did, sir. If you think you can use this to buy your way onto the prime minister's security detail? Well, that wasn't my first thought, sir. Of course not. I'll see that you receive accommodation. Well, that won't be necessary. Well, what do you want? Coffee. Would you care for some coffee? Um, well, I don't think that... All right. Good. Yes. Uh, fine. Get the car. Uh, do you want to drive? Yes. No, uh, you drive. No, I'll drive. You. Understood. Not bad. I think he's back. I winds northern sky will carry you away. You know you have to leave here. You wish that you could stay. Four directions on this map, but you're only going one way. Do south, that's the way I'm going. Do south.